Hello and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to show you how to measure TDI, tissue Doppler imaging. TDI is a way of measuring myocardial velocity. We're all used to measuring blood flow velocity using our colour Doppler, our pulse wave or our continuous wave and TDI uses the same physics principles as this. However, when we measure the velocity of tissue, the wave we get back is a high amplitude, low frequency wave. When we measure blood flow, the wave we get back is a high frequency, low amplitude wave. So all tissue Doppler imaging does is filter out the high frequency, low amplitude waves and leaves us with the high amplitude, low frequency waves. And this is the velocity of the myocardium. Most systems will have specific TDI software on. So we're going to show you how to measure if you have that TDI software. But also it is possible to measure if you don't have that software installed on your system. So in this case we are going to show you as well how to measure if you don't have that software. So to start with, for TDI we can put a TDI map on. To do this we hit colour. This will bring up our colour map. Simply move it over the area of myocardium you want to measure. And on this system, we just have to change the map to the TDI map. Now what we will see is the colour map is picking up myocardial velocity and not blood velocity. Anything red is moving towards the probe and blue is moving away from the probe. To get specific measurements, we hit the pulse wave Doppler. Line this up just above your mitral annulus and click the update key. Now we are measuring the velocity of the myocardium. Measuring this, we can choose TDI and E. Anything below the baseline is moving away from the probe. The first deflection below the baseline is our E wave. This is in diastole when the ventricle relaxes and everything moves away from the apex. Next measurement we can do is our A wave. This is our atrial contraction. So when the atria contract, again the ventricle moves away from the probe and we can measure there. An S wave gives us our systolic function. So anything above the baseline is moving towards the apex. So when the heart contracts, we expect the ventricle to get shorter as everything can twax towards the apex and we can measure that movement there. If you haven't purchased the TDI software, you can still measure TDI just with a normal pulse wave. Simply clip your pulse wave, put your cursor just above the annulus and click the update key. This will start your Doppler measurement. But just remember, when measuring myocardial velocity, we get lower frequencies and higher amplitudes. So what we need to do is reduce our scale dramatically. And also we will have to reduce our gain because we're getting higher amplitudes. So we reduce our Doppler gain. And as we can see, we can just about measure the velocities from this image. It's not going to be as accurate without the TDI software but it is still possible. Just make sure you adjust your gains and your scales.